Hi there, today's workout, we're gonna have 10 exercises. They're gonna be 40 seconds of work and we'll have 20 seconds of rest in between. This workout is for all levels today. So if you're a newer person for kettlebell, just grab a lighter bell. And if you're a little more advanced, just go a little bit heavier. We're just gonna do one run through of these 10 exercises. So that'll be a 10 minute workout. If you wanna do a little bit longer, you're just gonna repeat it. All right, let's go get started. Okay, so let's get started with some body weight squats. So just feet a little bit wider than those hips. Making sure your feet are nice and flat. Toes are gonna be turning out just over your toes there. All right, so we're gonna add in an overhead reach as well. So we're gonna reach up, bring it back down. So push off the ceiling. That's it. Standing up nice and tall. So really push and stretch out those shoulders. So you can feel that stretch in the back. I'd say get a little bit lower with your squats. That's it, I'm gonna do three more. All right, so we're gonna come up to the top of the mat, and we're just gonna walk our hands out into a high plank and then walking back up again. So we're just stretching out back of the legs, warming up the shoulders. That's it, so we're gonna do two more of these and then we're gonna do some push-ups. And you can bring your push-ups to your knees if you need to. Or you can do them on your toes. All right, one more plank. All right, so we're gonna stay down this time, hands a little wider. And we're gonna do about five or six. And back up to our feet. All right, we're coming into some reverse lunges. And step it back, and nice big reach. That's it, so keep moving the arms up and back down. That's it, keep it going, just a few more. And one on the other leg. All right, standing up tall, coming into a good morning. So feet underneath your hips here, hands in your goal pose position. And we're gonna hinge forward so you feel the stretch in the back of the legs. And then we're gonna add in an arms reach. So we're reaching and then pulling back and then up. That's it, let's go. So we do about seven more of these. You gotta keep it going. So you wanna have a little bend in the knees. You don't want them locking out. You don't want them in too bent. You wanna make sure that you feel that stretch in the back of the legs. All right, I've lost count, sorry. <laughs> All right, one more. All right, so we're gonna bring it down to the floor for some mountain climbers. So hands a little wider than those hips. And let's go. Drive those knees up. Let's go, let's go. Try and get that heart rate up a little bit. Nice and warm. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna be starting with a windmill today. So if you're unfamiliar with these, you can use a lighter weight or you can even just use your fist for it. So let's grab that weight. We're gonna bring it up to the shoulder to begin. You're gonna bring that foot just out a little bit, pressing it all the way up. Make sure your bicep is by your ear and we're just gonna hinge to the side. And we're gonna stay on the same leg. Okay, so we're gonna keep it here and we're gonna switch on the next 40 seconds. That's it, so really make sure that your shoulder is nice and secure here, and you're just gonna come down to wherever you can. So if you're here, that's totally fine, that's where you're at, okay? So we got another 10 seconds, coming all the way down, and my front knee is just a little bit bent as well. So it's just a soft bend, all the way down. All right, and rest. So now we're gonna do the other side. Shake it out a little bit. All right, let's grab that weight, bring it up to the shoulder, get your feet set first, one forward, one to the side, and let's go, press it up, bicep to ear, and sinking down. And remember, one side might be a little bit easier than the other side. So if you're a little bit more mobile in your hip on one side, just again, go within your range. 
nice and slow. We don't want to rush this one either. You got it. And you notice I'm looking up at the kettlebell as well. And five seconds. You want to wait over your head. You want to, you want to, make, you want to know where it is and rest. You want your eyes on it. All right, so next one is going to be around the world. And again, we're going to go all the same direction. So we'll start with clockwise. We're going to go in 10 seconds. Your feet are underneath your hips. To make this one easier, your feet will be wider. To make it more challenging, feet are together. Standing up tall, and let's go. So all in the same direction. Remember what direct, direction you're going, because we will change directions in a few more exercises. So standing up tall and making sure that you're not swaying around, okay? We want to keep it nice and tall. Squeeze the belly, keep everything nice and still. That's it, you got it, 15 seconds. Got it, five seconds. Avoid any rocking, no swaying. All right, let's put that bell down. We're gonna have alternating reverse lunges. So I'm gonna bring my bell up in a bottoms up position, but you can hold it however you like. All right, we're gonna go in five seconds. And let's go. So keep switching legs, okay? We're gonna pull those shoulder blades back and down. Chest stays lifted. Making sure that we're not rounding through the shoulders. That weight is gonna to wanna to pull your shoulders forward. So making sure that you're keeping them back. And eyes are straight ahead. You got it, almost there. 10 seconds. That's it, keep it going, a few more. All right. Woo. All right, we're gonna have a good morning next. So just like the warm up, we're just gonna hold that bell in front though. All right, grab that bell, feet under hips. And hopefully I don't hit my mic, but we're gonna hinge forward and then bring it up. That's it, so sinking those hips back. So imagine that you're gonna stick your butt to the wall. So you're sticking it out. You wanna make sure that your back is nice and neutral. We're not arching through or rounding through the low back. And our knees are a little bent, but they're not super bent. That's it, you should feel this one all down the back, all down the back of the legs. A few more, and there it is. All right. Whew. All right, we're gonna have a lateral lunge, and again, we're gonna do all the same side, okay? No alternating on this one. We're gonna bring the bell up in a goblet position again in five seconds. So vision your finger and your thumb. And we're gonna take a step to the side, sink him back. All on the same leg. You got it. And again, don't let those, or that bell pull your shoulders forward. You wanna keep your shoulders back. Imagine you're doing a single leg squat. So you're sinking back as you come down. That's it. We got 10 seconds. I'm losing my grip. And there it is. All right, put that one down. We're gonna do the other side next. All right, so let's get that bell up into position again. And other side, and here we go, take a step. Sink it back. You got it, we're getting through it. Almost there, you got it. 
15 seconds. That's it, keep your depth. Five seconds, it's one or two more. And there you go. All right, put that weight down. Whew. So now we're gonna do the around the world again. And we're gonna do the opposite way. So whatever you did, all the way this time. All right, we're going in five. All right, I'm going counterclockwise. Remember where your feet are. Keep them a little closer, a little bit more challenging to keep that body from moving. Standing up nice and tall. That's it. That's it, keep looking straight ahead. 15 seconds. Almost there. Five seconds. And you can put the bell down. All right. Second last one. We're gonna have alternating one arm swings. In 10 seconds. All right, let's get set. And here we go. So one arm swing. Keep switching at the top. And again, if you're not overly confident with your one arm swing, you can just bring it into those two hand swings for now. But it's good practice, those one arms. That's when we're able to start practicing those cleans and snatches once you're able to master your one hand swing. 10 seconds. All right, and the bell comes down. All right, one more exercise to do. We're gonna have an ISO squat, but we're gonna keep switching our hand grip. So it's like a pulse squat. <laughs> All right, going in five. Let's get the feet ready, a little wider in your squat, and here we go. So we're gonna go bounce, keep switching those hands. Can show that you have something to protect your floor. I should have mentioned that earlier just in case you drop it. That's it, keep it going. Almost there, keep that depth, keep low. 10 seconds, almost, five, three, Two. There it goes. All right, good job. All right, if you have a little bit more time, you can always go back through another two or three more times. Otherwise, thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys.